If you find Blender's interface too crowded with too many tools and add-ons, or if you are probably tired of the outliner and other inconveniences, in today's video we're gonna take a look at some cool Blender add-ons that will help you with managing your Blender's interface, which will essentially make your workflow much smoother. Starting off, we have this cool add-on that will let you manage all the add-ons you have in one place. We all know that having too many add-ons can be a hassle and it will get too messy in your end panel and it becomes hard to find the add-ons that you are looking for and the ones you're gonna use most. To solve this problem, we have an add-on called Clean Panels, which will help you access your add-ons much faster and in a much organized manner. This will save you actually a bunch of time and it will let you focus more on making beautiful art and finishing your projects rather than focusing on searching and squinting your eyes to locate the add-on that you are looking for. Clean Panels offers four different ways to access your add-ons and each one has a different workflow. You can choose which one suits you better and then you can start using the add-on. The first way is called Focus Panels, which enables you to access the add-ons that you have. You may search for the add-on you need, find it and then click it to open the add-on interface. The second method is called M Panel Filtering. And with the help of this technique, you can organize your preferred add-ons into categories and give each category an icon. You can then use these icons in the viewport to enable or deactivate each category. And a pie menu will allow you to navigate between categories with ease. The third method is called drop-down panels. And this will allow you to pin your favorite tabs to the top bar for faster access. This method is similar to workspace filtering in that it allows you to group your favorite tabs into categories. Another neat feature of drop-downs is that you can still access their panel for certain functions even if the add-on is disabled in the workspace you are currently using. Lastly, the fourth method is called pop-up panels. And this one is probably the slowest way to access your add-ons. But it is the most efficient since it lets you access your tabs and panels from a pie menu which is more organized than the other methods but opinions may vary and each one will find a different method that is gonna work for them best. In a nutshell, if you want your panels to be clean, clean panels is the way to go. This add-on is cool and everything. But the next one is gonna save you some serious headaches too. I'm talking about Auto Highlight in Outliner, which is an add-on that basically automates the process of expanding the outliner to show the selected object. This might seem useless because you can already do that yourself, I mean natively in Blender, but going through this process takes a few seconds each time. And when you combine all those seconds together and the trouble that you're gonna go through, this can amount to several minutes or a few hours in the span of working on your project. Also, I'm pretty sure that you don't like wasting time on boring tasks like this one. So to save time and effort for yourself, you can use this add-on which will automate all the process for you and you literally don't have to do anything other than selecting the object that you want to be highlighted in the outliner. But the truth is, this will not only save you time, because it will also save you a lot of effort and allows you to concentrate more on the creative process rather than locating whatever the hell your selected object is gonna be in the outliner. The way the add-on works is as smooth as peeling a banana. You simply install it and enable it in Blender then activate it by going to the outliner and clicking on the filter drop-down. This will cause a new toggle to appear called Collapse Other Collection, which you can choose to keep on and off. If you turn it on, the add-on will begin collapsing all the collections except for the collection of the selected object. You may now begin utilizing the Auto Highlight in Outliner add-on, which will make it simpler to find and manage objects in complex scenes, which happens often, by automatically expanding the outliner to display the selected object whenever you select an object in the 3D viewport. The next add-on called Go Panel will display all Blender's main tools in your 3D viewport so you can access them directly without using keyboard shortcuts. This will be incredibly helpful to those who use graphic tablets as it will make a lot of tasks like sculpting, texture painting and 2D animation in Grease Pencil much more fluid. To use this add-on, you first have to switch from the classic mode to the add-on mode, and you can do that by a single click in the add-on's interface. Or you can just assign a keyboard shortcut to this, which will eliminate the mode switching step. The best thing about this add-on is that you can customize which tools you want to display. 
meaning you can add or remove buttons for individual tools or modes. This will free up some screen space and make it easier for you to access the tools you use, I mean those you use most frequently. You can also customize the interface by changing the name of the panel, in addition to the size of the buttons and the number of columns, which will overall simplify the interface. So Go Panel is a Blender add-on that is gonna be a helpful tool and you're gonna benefit from it if you are a tablet user by enabling you to quickly access Blender tools without the need for keyboard shortcuts. And it will increase your productivity and save you a bunch of time when working on various projects, including 2D animation and sculpting especially. However, if you like to use a lot of keyboard shortcuts and want to replace every task with a shortcut, you might want to take a look at this add-on called Modifier Shortcut Keys, which will allow you to add modifiers to your desired objects using keyboard shortcuts, which can be very helpful. It will basically let you access all the modifiers a bit faster than the classic method. To use it, you just need to select the objects that you want to add modifiers to, then click on F to start the shortcut keys mode. A list with 26 modifiers and their shortcut keys will be displayed on the right side of the viewport. Then press any of the 26 keys to add the modifier that you desire. The add-on is actually one of my favorite ones because it can save us a lot of time and it can make the workflow much smoother. And I'm pretty sure that you guys like it too, especially if you are a fan of using shortcuts like me. And if this is not enough for your interface productivity, there is another add-on called Saved Views. And this one allows you to save your viewport location and rotation, and you can restore them at any time you need them. This will help you quickly switch between multiple viewports, which will ultimately make your workflow more fluid. Furthermore, the add-on allows you to save thumbnails for all the views, making it even simpler to switch between them. And it allows you to search and select objects by name directly from the viewport, eliminating the need to open the outliner each time, I mean each time you need to locate an object that is hidden under multiple objects. This add-on like other ones in today's video will save you a lot of time and improve your efficiency and the speed of your workflow. And I personally believe that Arvis artists will benefit a lot from this add-on, since they typically have a lot of small, difficult to access objects. Therefore, save views will make it easier for them to find their objects. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.